Did you have a good weekend, colleague? Yes, I had a great weekend. You know, you'll never guess what I've started doing recently. Oh, I'm curious, tell me. Yoga. I started watching yoga videos on the internet. Really, I never imagined you would do yoga. How is that going? Well, I'm surprised how calming it is. The poses and breathing exercises really relaxed me. It helps me deal with stress. Oh yes, really, hadn't you told me in the meantime that you were a Christian? Yes, but that doesn't stop me from doing yoga. Okay, I understand you. But you know, there are aspects of yoga that we need to consider. Yoga has its roots in spiritual traditions that are at odds with our Christian beliefs. It promotes philosophies and practices that can take our hearts away from God. Okay, I had no idea what you just said to me. But how can yoga be so damaging? My colleagues, yoga often involves postures and meditations that aim to find inner harmony outside of God. It can take us away from our relationship with the Lord. Additionally, some yoga practices include spiritual elements that are foreign to our faith, which can open the door to satanic and harmful influences. Okay thank you for informing me about the subject, because I had no idea that yoga could be so problematic. And yes, colleagues, unfortunately it is very problematic for us Christians. I encourage you to look for healthy alternatives to stay fit and relaxed, such as exercising and also praying. Let's choose activities that strengthen our faith and bring us closer to God. Okay thank you colleagues for your insightful advice. I realize how perdition I was in. Praise be to God for that. All right. I am going back to work. But stop associating everything with unclean spirits for a bit. We talk to you about yoga and you say it's not good. Stay there and continue in your ignorance. As for me, I will always continue to practice yoga quietly in my room at night before going to bed, because I alone know as all the good that it gives me. It relaxes me a lot. Come on, I have to start working again. Oh, how good does it feel to practice yoga? I relaxed well and reconnected to the spiritual. Now I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. In any case, I can't wait to be tomorrow so I can see the effects of my concentrations. Oh. This girl without realizing it, she had just sneaked into my table without me inviting her. Thank you so much for choosing me as your god, as you connected to me. I am going to visit you this evening to welcome you. Thank you for doing all these esoteric rituals for me. <laughs> Starting today, I will take control of your life and lead you step by step in everything you undertake. Let your spirit reach me right away now. Leave me alone, but what exactly do you want from me? It's up to me to ask you this question. It wasn't you who called me earlier. I came to welcome you. What? I never called you mister. Now I am yours. I have come to truly connect you to the spiritualism of yoga. What? Leave me alone. I just did a few breathing and concentration exercises and said a few sentences. That is all. That is not all. You came into contact with me without realizing it. I am now your new god. Kneel before me now? No, not at all. I don't want that. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm going to do that to you right away and you're never going to forget. Bow down and worship me. By doing this, I will give you all the beautiful things in the world. Not at all. I never prostrate myself before you because I had no idea that by doing meditation and spiritual exercises I was going to come into contact with you. I categorically refuse to be your disciple and to worship you. Do it right away, I tell you. Please, Lord Jesus Christ, come and save me from this unclean spirit. Finally he left. Thank you Lord, for having answered my call. Wow. I am really shocked by the dream I had now. Fortunately the Lord came to help me. If not, 
maybe I wouldn't be here today. To the Lord God. At this late hour, I humbly stand before you, knowing that you are the night watchman. I come to you, Lord, with a sincere desire to spend a peaceful night without nightmares. I am putting my sleep in your hands God of grace. Please watch over my mind and my heart as I abandon myself to you to rest. Remove from me any fear, trouble, and anxiety that could cloud my dreams. Please, Lord, also keep away from me any spirit that might come to threaten me. Lord, I ask you to place your protective shield around my mind, soul, and body so that I can sleep with confidence in your love and keep the nightmares and disturbing thoughts that could disturb my sleep away from me. May your Holy Spirit surround me with your comforting presence and may your love dispel all darkness. I place my faith in you, knowing that you are my refuge. Fortress image, even in the silent hours of the night. I thank you Lord for your infinite love and your constant concern for me and the sweet assurance of your protection. I fall asleep now knowing that you are with me, that this night will be full of peaceful dreams, and that I wake up tomorrow with a grateful heart. And it is in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Come on, I have to go back to bed so I can be in shape tomorrow. Almighty Lord, I stand humbly before you, recognizing the grace you have given me to allow me to speak to you at this time. I come with a heavy heart full of repentance for the actions I have taken while practicing yoga. Forgive me, Lord, for seeking peace and serenity outside of your presence. I understood that yoga has spiritual origins and aspects that are in contradiction with my faith in you, my God. Really forgive me for my disbelief, because my girlfriend told me that it wasn't from you, but I didn't want to know anything and I persisted in practicing yoga as if nothing had happened. I sincerely regret putting you aside to look for answers elsewhere. I now realize that you alone are the source of all truth, peace, and wisdom. I apologize for having neglected my relationship with you. Lord, I am committed to strengthening my faith, turning more to your word, and living in accordance with your teachings. May your love and grace flood my soul, purifying me from my past mistakes. It is in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Finally I am ready. Come on, I'm off to work. As I told you colleague, when you told me that the origins of yoga were not Christian, I really didn't want to know. I continued to practice until I had a nightmare in the evening. And in this nightmare, I saw an entity that was clamoring for me and that absolutely wanted me to continue practicing yoga. And I told him that I was never going to do that again. Oh. Glory be truly given to God for that the Lord, so truly, has renounced his practices forever. Because as I told you, it didn't come from God. Obviously, colleague, you were absolutely right. Today, I realized this and never again in my whole life will I try to get in touch with unclean spirits through yoga practices. Hallelujah. May all the glory be given to God forever and ever. Amen. Amen my colleague. The Lord loves you and will never abandon you. Thank you very much, colleague. It fills me with joy and confidence. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is written in 1 Corinthians 10, 31 so whether you eat and drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. As Christians, we should do everything we can to give glory to God in everything. It is also written in Philippians 4 verses 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, that everything that is true, everything that is honorable, everything that is just, everything that is pure, everything that is kind, everything that deserves approval, that is virtuous, is worthy of praise. Be the subject of your thoughts. May the Lord God guide us and help us not to worship other gods by practicing relaxation, concentration, and spiritualism. Remain blessed, dear friends. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.